Hello, I'm Simon Whistler, you're watching Top 10's Net, and in the video today we're looking at the top 10 fictional worlds that are ruined by real-life math. Number 10. Harry Potter. The wizarding population is unsustainable. Harry Potter is easily one of the most successful franchises in recent film history. We also heard it was turned into a book somewhere along the line too, which is quite nice. Though the series originally started out as a whimsical story for children, it's now enjoyed by adults of all ages. This is kind of a problem because once adults with calculators did the math, something didn't make sense. Namely, that there aren't enough kids to sustain the entire world Rowling has created. Rowling has always insisted that Hogwarts has around a thousand students. However, by studying both the books and the films, a man called David Haber has realized that this figure is wildly inflated. By counting both references made in the books and scenes from the movie, which were overseen by Rowling herself, Haber worked out that each of the four houses in Hogwarts likely only has around 70 students, meaning that the total number of students at Hogwarts is closer to 280. With that in mind, it means that each and every year, only 40 adults enter the Wizarding World. Of course, there are other schools mentioned in the books, but Hogwarts is noted as being literally the only school for wizards in the entirety of Britain. For comparison's sake, there are around 9.5 million school-aged children in Britain, meaning that the population of magic children is 0.00002% the size of the population of muggle children. Even if you try to argue that some wizard children are taught at home, those figures don't bode well for the future of the wizard race. Number 9. Batman Bruce Wayne blows millions fighting crime and couldn't be Batman for long anyway. Batman is one of the most popular superheroes of all time, and if Tumblr is to be believed, he's also the patron saint of the internet. However, he could only spend so many decades punching criminals in the face before someone worked out how stupid his crime-fighting tactics actually are. For example, someone worked out the actual cost of being Batman and came up with a figure of around $682 million. Arguably, if that figure includes his training and mansion, but even taking those costs out of the equation, Batman still spends a ton of cash every single time he leaves the Batcave. For example, his custom-made Batarangs cost approximately $300 a piece. And how many of those have you seen Batman throw? Thousands upon thousands? Well, exactly. In other words, every single Batarang Batman throws is the equivalent of him throwing a weak salary for one of the criminals he's punching into a coma. Speaking of which, every person Batman kicks into paste is another criminal he's leaving with medical bills they obviously can't afford, putting an even bigger strain on the city of Gotham. But here's the kicker. According to sports scientists, Batman could only realistically perform at his peak for three years. Of course, in the comics he's replaced by Dick Grayson and Tim Drake, but think for a second how much better off Gotham would have been if, instead of Batarangs, Batman threw $300 worth of food and therapy coupons at the criminals. Number 8. Starship Troopers the bugs are clearly smarter than us. If you want to point out that Starship Troopers is supposed to be a huge parody, then do go ahead, but it doesn't change that what we're about to discuss is a huge plot hole. At around the midpoint of the movie, it's revealed that the bugs have been firing arse plasma at asteroids, with the intention of knocking them out of orbit to hit the Earth. Unless you skipped a basic science class, you know that planets in our solar system are millions of miles apart, and it has taken us decades just to reach the outer limits of our solar system going as fast as humanly possible. This would mean that the bugs were able to not only aim a meteorite at a planet literally millions of miles away, but also predict where it would be exactly in the hundreds of years it would take the meteorite to actually get there. We know the bugs are smart, but if they figured out how to destroy cities on Earth from across the galaxy with rocks while our men with guns die by the thousands against them, maybe they're the ones who should be in charge. Number 7. The Simpsons Homer and Marge are ridiculously wealthy the Simpsons have been consistently portrayed as an average American family over the decades they've been on TV. Odd then that they earn considerably more than almost everyone watching this. We're not kidding. Despite his many career ups and downs, Homer Simpson has almost always been a steadily employed nuclear safety technician for the Springfield Nuclear Power Plant. For those who don't know, that job pays an average salary of $67,000 a year, which is almost $20,000 more than the median income of an average American household and means that Homer earns $35 an hour. Then you have The Simpson House, a four to five bedroom palace with a double garage, a sitting room, a rumpus room, a living room, a dining room, an attic, and a basement. All in all, The Simpson House is worth an estimated $289,000, which isn't even taking into account all of the other stuff they own two cars, tons of power tools, a sauna, a piano, and let's not forget that Homer still likely collects royalties from his years as a famous singer. How many average families have all of that? Number 6. Pacific Rim The Jaegers just plain wouldn't work. 
Pacific Rim is a film in which giant robots punch giant monsters in the face with elbow rockets. It's not supposed to be taken seriously, but damn it, even goofy stuff should have to comply with the laws of physics. Now, thankfully, the giant robot aspect of the film is pretty sound. They could theoretically be built, though we'd never be able to move them. In the film, a typical Jaeger is shown to be moved from place to place by helicopter, though only shown on screen for a second. Smarter people than us were able to deduce that the helicopters shown were Boeing CH-47 Chinooks. Calculating the mass of the standard Jaeger, these people were then able to reason that it would take 640 of these helicopters just to get an average Jaeger off the ground in the first place. Considering the whole point of the Jaegers is to intercept the kaiju before they reach cities and wreck everything, this kind of raises a few problems. Now, we're not saying that people in the movie couldn't scrape together 640 helicopters to move a single Jaeger. What we are saying, though, is that there are less than 1,200 of these things in existence. Realistically, the world's entire resources could only move one giant robot at a time. Considering the film shows the kaiju attacking everywhere from Japan to the US, we're going to say that it's unlikely that any Jaegers built would even be able to be deployed in time to stop them from killing millions of people. Of course, you could argue that the Jaegers could simply walk everywhere, but when's the last time you heard of any kind of walking, even the giant robot kind, that was faster than a helicopter? Number 5. Star Wars – The Force Renders Lightsaber Combat Pointless whether or not you like the Star Wars movies, you're likely well aware of how awesome the Force is. However, George Lucas made a serious mistake with Star Wars when he greenlit Galen Marek. For those of you unfamiliar with the Star Wars Extended Universe, Galen Marek is the protagonist of the video game Star Wars The Force Unleashed. Within Star Wars canon, he's noted as being the single most powerful user of the Force ever. This makes for a great game, but it also raises questions about the entire franchise. For example, Galen is shown to be fully capable of ripping a Star Destroyer out of orbit, a ship that weighs around 6.4 million tons. Now, let's do some math. As we know, force equals mass times acceleration, which would mean Marek just being able to move this thing at all means he's capable of producing at least 6 billion newtons of force using the force. This leads to an unsettling realization. If a force user is capable of producing this kind of force using their mind, why the hell do they need to use lightsabers? Seriously, let's say that Marek is a thousand times more powerful than the average Jedi. This would still mean that said Jedi could theoretically produce 6.8 million newtons of force with their mind. A person in a car crash in which the car is traveling at 30 miles per hour without wearing a seatbelt is exposed to just over 100,000 newtons of force. With that in mind, a Jedi, without even trying, should be able to produce car crash levels of force with a flick of the wrist. Even if you argue that the other Jedi could resist such force, the math is insane. For example, let's take that 100,000 newtons figure, a very, very conservative estimate of how much force an average Jedi could easily produce considering that it has been established multiple times that with the force, size and mass mean nothing. Taking our force equals mass times acceleration formula and swapping it around, we can work out that acceleration equals force divided by mass, which means a Jedi able to produce 100,000 newtons of force could accelerate an object weighing half a kilo to speeds of 200,000 meters per second. If you could do that, fighting people becomes a total non-issue. Every fight in the Star Wars trilogy should have ended in about three seconds and consisted entirely of a Jedi launching a piece of debris into someone's face at 300 miles per hour. Number 4. The Matrix – The Agents Should Have Been Able To Dodge This The first Matrix movie features a scene in which Trinity very awesomely shoots an agent at point-blank range in the face after slapping a bunch of SWAT officers to death off a rooftop with Keanu Reeves. It's a pretty badass scene that cements Trinity as one of the coolest and most capable female characters in recent movie history. However, the agent she shoots totally should have been able to dodge that shot. By calculating the distance an agent is from Neo when he fires the barrage of bullets that he dodges like a boss, an agent's reaction time is put at about 0.04 seconds or faster, meaning that in the time it takes Trinity to say the words, dodge this, the agent she's trying to shoot totally had enough time to beat her to death before she'd finished talking. Think about it, it takes Trinity a full two seconds, trust us we counted, to say dodge this. In the same amount of time, literally 20 seconds earlier, the same agent was able to move his entire body quickly enough to dodge bullets traveling at 1,250 feet per second. What was stopping him from moving that fast the instant he heard Trinity talking? That's not us being pedantic, we honestly want to know because as far as we can tell there was nothing stopping him from killing Trinity and ending the franchise right there. Number 3. Forrest Gump 
his wealth would cause a ton of problems. If you've never seen Forrest Gump, the basic story is that Tom Hanks stumbles his way through life and through sheer dumb luck ends up becoming a billionaire shrimp baron, a football pro, a war hero, and an Olympic ping pong champion. We are here to talk about the first fact. Thanks to his shrimping success, Gump has an estimated wealth of $5.6 billion, money he never seems to spend. We're not saying that he should donate it to charity or something stupid like that, but he could at least, you know, spend it. Just sit back for a moment and consider what Gump is doing. He's hoarding billions of dollars from his local economy. Imagine the boost he could give to the community of Greenbow, Alabama if he spread around a little of that cheddar. But he doesn't. In fact, one of the few things we ever outright see Gump buy is the old farm his crush used to live on, which he then immediately bulldozes to the ground. Don't you want to turn that into an actual farm, Gump? You know, perhaps honor Jenny's memory by giving your local community a bunch of new jobs and source of pride? No, you just want to cut grass for free, robbing your community of yet another job someone could be getting paid to do. Awesome job, Forrest. Number 2. Friends. Everyone there is an ageless god. Okay, so that's a bit of an overstatement, but time in the Friends universe seems to stand still, or at least stop and start at random. Straight off the bat, Ross's birthday is an absolute mess, with him openly claiming to be 29 years old for three seasons straight. Even the show's official wiki can't explain why. He even celebrates the same birthday twice. Then you have Ross's sometimes lover, sometimes not, Rachel, who was supposedly pregnant at Chandler and Monica's wedding, which is canonically in May of 2001, but then she goes on maternity leave in August of 2002. That would suggest Rachel was pregnant for 15 months. Of course, this can all be put down to lazy writing, but we're guessing that almost everyone watching this now is disappointed that they were watching a show about people with superpowers and never got to see one person have their head punched off. Number 1. Jurassic Park DNA's half-life would make the entire film impossible. Despite the fact that the world collectively wants dinosaurs, like, so hard, it's a dream that is impossible. This is due to the fact that DNA, the very building blocks of life, has a built-in expiration date. According to research conducted on the bones of Moa, a giant-ass extinct bird, DNA can only last a calculated 521 years. This means that any creature that died further back than around the 15th century, even if it's perfectly preserved, will have no usable DNA left in its body that we could use to clone it. This sadly means that we will likely never be able to clone dinosaurs, ever. Meaning, everything you saw in Jurassic Park is absolute fiction and the thought of gearing up and riding a T-Rex is just going to have to remain in our imaginations. So I really hope you enjoyed that video about maths ruining fiction. If you did, please do hit that thumbs up button below. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel for brand new videos just like this every day of the week. Also, check out some of our other videos which are over there on the right. And thank you for watching.